He's a crybaby. Angry. <laughs> Commanding. Menacing. You know, very competitive. The team on our building, team on our building. Why are you not on height? He's hardworking and he's very dedicated, yeah. Jordan, you dumbass! Very intense. I didn't run in the zone, he was hugging the corner! He wants to be the best Apex player there is. I think he's just the most competitive person in Apex Legends, and I think that's what pushes him to the top time and time again. Years after winning those previous lands, that's why he's still here and still at the top, because he just wants it so much. don't play Apex. Apex Legends is a battle royale shooter. 60 players, 20 teams of three. Drop in to a map in an island, find loot, BR, make it to end game. Let's get stocked. Nathan Fries, it's a 1v1! So very, very close. I mean, Dreamfire, they had Godspot right at the time here. Just hit your shots! Honestly, Apex is like carnage. Did you map? We did. Are you a Yeah, like three hours. Nice. I was looking here, Biggie. Oh, what was? You're watching scrims. You're not, you're not warming up right. tomorrow, bro? He's Michael Jordan, in terms of personality and I guess accolades, meets Tom Brady, but not in terms of accolades, in terms of personality. Like, kind of a dick, but not in like a I'm a mean person type of way, in a I'm gonna be hard on you because I expect more out of you type of way. Hello, solo Bangalore players look great. Yeah, there's still a team that has to walk in from here. Yeah. Well, you can always count on him to always like be trying his best, you know, and giving it his all. Like not to say that me and Evan aren't giving our all. You can always just count on him to, you know, be there like at his full potential and just all he wants to do is win, so. Right here, Evan, like you should like, that thermite would have been huge actually. You should just straight like rain at this, this kid, but you got, I don't know. An IGL is, it stands for in-game leader. Um, an IGL is also a leader out of the game. Someone that inspires confidence in their players and builds harmony and trust in the team. A lot of times the IGL is also a playmaker on the team. Hal is, is taking on that IGL role, but he's also a phenomenal playmaker and leads the team in that regard. Apex is a messy game and there's a lot of cognitive load that's happening. You need a leader that's able to just navigate all that chaos. Yeah, I mean, I like Hal's style of IGLing. There's always room to improve in anything you do. So there's obviously he could be better at IGLing. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't be playing with him for three years, so. Hal's rage can definitely be very distracting sometimes. He needs to cool down during his post-death comms. If he could maintain his same level of passion without raging, I mean, that would just be only positives. Like, he would just look like the most perfect IGL ever. Dead, dead. Buckle now, buckle now, buckle now, buckle now! Come on, buckle! Are, are you dead? Are you dead? What is passion? <laughs> passion is... I say passion is caring about what you do and how you do it. If you're very passionate about something, you just care about it, you know, even the small things. What that means is, no matter what he does, he does 150%. That's what passion is for Hal. He's all in, no matter what he does, he does it with a great effort. Why would we go low ground up to light high ground? We kill the high ground team first. Does that make any sense? We're about to have to play this engine out. You have a movie? Like I'm very, you know, straightforward. There's no, there's no BS, right? I think that you did something stupid. I'm gonna let you know you did something stupid. There's always, there has to be like some type of consequence to like ha making mistakes. There's always like the, that, the, you know, the nice guy on the team. And if you're, you're, if the nice guy on your team is IGL, then I just, I don't see your team really going that far, to be honest. This is how I see it. Bro. Does Hal rage when playing Apex? Yes, he does. He even rages when he plays with me. And I tell him all the time, like, it, it's just for fun. We're just playing pubs, like. I was f***ing looting the box, I have no f***ing ammo. I didn't get to loot anything. And as they were looting, I was looting, they went up. I was shooting the entire game. It had to be where I was at. There's only a solo below us and we have head glitches on us. Uh, 
his competitive level is it's just something else. <laughs> They're walking up now. Can we walk up now, right? Now, all of us. I almost got good though. I cracked it to me. Cracked two. They're gonna have to. They're gonna push. They're gonna push. I got one shot. I got two. I got two. Be honest. What I think is the ideal teammate would be someone who's able to take constructive criticism and be able to give it out. You should be able to like tell your teammate, hey, like you should have done this instead and then explain to your teammate why and then they should be able to be receptive of what you're saying. Sometimes when I watch your guys' streams, it doesn't seem like, uh, it doesn't seem like feedback goes that smoothly. Oh, definitely not. You, you said the ideal teammate. We haven't had a cenote zone, but remember, we want to like take an early engagement on those north rooms. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. we want to get there. Yeah. Go through checkpoint, go to the Dean Hill. Yeah. And then it's just go take that early friend in the building. Like pro players are all really good. Like we don't want to be wrong in what we're doing, you know? Like we want to be like, oh yeah, like my I'm right. Like what I did is right. What separates like the great from like the average person is someone who's able to see other perspectives and come to a conclusion like, hey, maybe, you know, if I did this, this actually would have been better. Getting Raven, for example, helped us a lot with that too. The biggest change that we've had for TSM so far is uh, definitely Raven. I think we probably would have performed the same as we did um, last Pro League. So I joined in August of 2022. I joined right before they were leaving to Japan. So I didn't really start working with them until the beginning of September. I feel like a lot of the other professional players, they just don't take it as serious. They take it as like, it's still like a hobby to them. The biggest like issue with like most professional players compared to me is that they don't have like any guidance from like anyone older and stuff like that. You know, they do the bare minimum and I think that's just like a big mistake, so. Most of our recent success came from Raven because he got us two new POIs and he basically helped us get a game plan for every single zone. It's like we pretty much have it down to a science at this point. You know, Raven's also like our therapist, keeps us calm after like heated moments because we'll get into like heated arguments. You know, Raven's mitigation in between like, you know, discussion or arguments, whatever, however you want to call it, regarding like certain situations and like decision making helps and yeah. You guys just call cheese pizzas margaritas. Yeah. I think it's meats. What's your issue? It's not a margarita pizza. What's your problem? Oh, pizza. Okay, pull it up on the big screen. I, I can... Yeah, that's like an Italian mozzarella, like. Yeah, yeah, that. That's a margarita. That's a margarita pizza. Just yeah, but cheese, what's... sauce, mozzarella, basil. You're quite passionate about margarita pizza. I'm Pat. Listen, buddy, I'm 20% Italian, okay? <laughs> Wise, we also have been spending a lot of time building game plans for every single zone. If I ask my players, hey, what do we do for this zone? They'll, they'll be able to tell you every time. It's about preparation, right? It's about going into a tournament, knowing what you want to do for each zone, rather than playing purely reactively. As long as we have these like initial game plans that we want to play, I'm confident that whatever randomness or chaos that ends up happening, we can deal with. How did you resolve conflicts prior to Raven? Um. Yo, so you All right, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Damn, we just got finesse, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, okay, what's up? Imperial Hal is a softy, actually. I know a lot of people online think he's angry all the time, but he's not. He's super genuine, he is hardworking, he's determined. Yeah, he's a, he's a sweetheart, he cares genuinely about people. Yeah, I think that a lot of them think that he doesn't care about uh, certain things or that he just like acts tough or he's just angry all the time, but that's not that's not him. He, he does really care about things. He'll see like tweets and stuff that perceive him like a certain way and it upsets him because he's that's not him um, and people don't understand that. It does make me upset when he gets angry, but only because I don't like seeing him that way. Really? Are you streaming, girl? <laughs> no, no one's streaming. Oh, no, 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 uh, no, I'm not streaming. You're streaming. No, you're fine. No, I'm, I'm just asking. I'm, I'm figuring out why my mouse speed is different in my inventory. Is your window sensitivity? I can hear. It should, it should be win. Oh, yeah. Change, that's yeah. what happens when people play the game. No, the reason Hal gets angry is because he's upset with himself. A lot of people think he takes it on his teammates. And like I said, if they make mistakes, they make mistakes. He wants to tell them like, and critique them like, hey, this is what you did wrong, whatever. If they're not performing well as a team, he, he takes it out more on himself. He, he gets more angry at himself than he does at his teammates, yes. And everybody here in the stadium in London, make some noise. The split one playoffs have
have begun. The ALGS, the Global Series, has brought together 40 of the best teams in the entire world. I was actually nervous before coming here, like even flying, before even flying. I'm usually like nervous the first game, like right before. During rally, like the first, before the first game, like my hands were going numb because I like how nervous I was getting. But as soon as I get into the game, it like it went away. Not gonna connect damage, Do you smell that fallout? Do you smell it? I smell a third party Ooh. coming up right behind TSM. It's just taking way too long. Oh. They're getting the trade after those two cracks though. They need to be able to finally full and send it in. And Verhulst is gonna call it. He beams one for whole single-handedly. Knocks one. Can he get the double? Yes, he does. Welcome to the GG7 out here. Verhulst with a hip fire shot. Ooh. He's looking to take. He's gonna push back to high ground immediately. The flank's gonna come through. The G7 scout close range. Gonna connect. Oh. TSM, Verhulst up in a 1v2. Little to no health out here. Here. He manages to get the one knock. He needs to get one more player. Those players will back up again. Zone is closing. Decisions have to be made. The knockdown shield can be played. <gasps> Verhulst oh! wins it. Verhulst on top. I don't believe there is any competition for us at this event. Ourselves, if anything. That has uh, thrown a cat among the pigeons for sure. Uh, TSM lose one. Verhulst has gone down, but here comes Reps. He's looking for a ministry. His teammate can't get the armor swap. Imperial, how left on his own now. Manages to take him down to 1 HP! But it's not enough as Norcal Esports will eliminate TSM. Like the very, very first set, that last game, I was like, I felt a little bit of doubt, like, in myself. I think I made like a big mistake, and I was like, kind of worried about it. The main reason why I don't get nervous during the game is because it's my responsibility to make sure that we're not hesitating and we're confident going into the game. If, you know, if my teammates know that I'm nervous, they're gonna be not as confident. No, they're under here. But it's TSM, surely, like you say, Dan, who are going to win game number one? It's going to have to be a miracle here. It's a one versus three. TSM, surely, it's just a matter of time here. Just hit your shots. TSM, pop off on day number two. A wonderful start to the day for TSM. They... Then we're not, like, Evan, like, what are you doing? Bro, how are you? How are you getting shot back? I couldn't. The team, the team got on top of the rock and shot me. We That's know, hard they're there. You're out of them. I couldn't. We need to hold that door, bro. Why are you even the other door? No! 20! No. Guys, like... Bro, how do you lose a one... It wasn't a 1v1, I got two guys saw me. None of you guys looked at me with the knock was on, like, right on top of my head. I, I called out, you went to the roof. I know, I shot him for 90. It's fine, it's fine. Nah, I'm dead. I don't know why you keep asking me, Jordan, where the guy is. You have Seer, you have all hacks. Why the f do you keep asking me where people are? How's leadership mentality isn't the best for like keeping the morale, like the team up and everything, but he definitely keeps you in that winner's mentality. But they're trading. Good one. Daddy, daddy. Nice, good stuff, boys. Got one. One guy's one. Two guys, one. Two guys, one. Two guys, one. Things for Alliance right now. This is gonna be really tough. In the mix of it, Hal swings, but he's gonna fall in now. I got one. Run him. 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 It's the CEO versus the model. Yuki's an absolute monster, but Hal's better. He's gonna fry, doesn't take any damage. Hal is perfect, but Yuki turns it around. No Get way. Up, finish the shots, though. No. Yuki, play the knockdown, and Hal's gonna... Oh, he's, he's playing with his food, Vicky. He's playing with his food. But he's one HP. Was he out of ammo? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Yuki clutches up against Hal in the 1v1! How did he do that? What did we just do? Oh, I didn't know it was top three. When we we were inside the building and we knew there was a team on the roof, so we I, we know we had to kill them, right? So we kinda just like I, I swung out and I just like deleted that team. I barely even took any damage. I was feeling pretty confident after that fight. So I realized it was top two, I called it out. It had an armor swap on the roof. Since like all the confidence built up from the previous like games and like the previous fight of that game. I just like went in. I did not care like who was in front of me. I just went in and I one clipped one guy and then I one clipped another guy and then they came down to 1v1, straight 1v1 and I just ran out of ammo. 
and didn't realize I had low ammo and lost it because of that. Here will be your winner's bracket. TSM overall take first place heading into winner's bracket. It won't mean much. I care too much. Best way to put it is I care too much. And when I care too much or expect too much, then I just easily get upset when it doesn't go, I guess, the way I thought it would be. From my perspective is I'll like, yeah, I'm gonna get mad, but I'm not gonna show that I'm mad. And I'll like word it in a nice way or something. And maybe, you know, being too easy on someone doesn't get them to fix that issue that that happened, you know? We have to play on behind us, behind us, behind us. Behind us. I have to go under, I have to go under. I'm one, I'm one, I'm one. I'm out of here now. We gotta kill this, kill the knock, kill the knock. Swap, 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 swap. Yesterday. And Nathan from above just trying to really third party that the TSM, they have fallen. Four squads left. Imperial Howl's rival undoubtedly is Sweet Dreams. It's such an interesting dynamic and story the constant back and forth or swinging of the pendulum, who's the better in-game leader, pound for pound. And it goes to show how, how awesome the rivalry is in friendship. I mean, the friends at the end of the day. On the scan, on the I'm scan. Killing the scan. Kill us here. Nice, nice. All dead, all dead. Nice. nice. Killing. Oh, no. I killed one. On the left rock, left rock, right here. I got one. Play slow. I got to wait. Just I got another. Still under you. I got another. I will say TSM are also getting involved. This is a huge fight. Whoever wins this one gains one of the best positions. Oh, oh goodness. goodness. TSM, they're going through them. TSM, that is clean. I'm dead, I'm dead. Stay go, stay go. Watch out, Bangalore, watch out, Bangalore. It's here, number one. Yeah, we're dead. Um. I just want to win. The highest dopamine for me is just winning. And if I had to pick one thing that would like overtake passion and stuff like that, and like responsibility, it would have to be just wanting to win. I think we struggled to take home a WAN win last year was because in WANs there's a match point format. So you have to get to a certain point threshold, which is 50 points. And then you have to win a game after that. You know, maybe there's three other teams on match point, and then if they get a zone that's good for them, you know, you know, they could just win straight up. So, uh, what does he feel after a big loss? Uh, defeated. I remember one time he told me he wanted to retire because he felt like he wasn't performing great. He felt like it was him. Like I said, he doesn't blame his teammates. He blames himself more. And in that time, he felt like he wasn't being the best he could be. He wasn't performing the best. He gets defeated easily when it's something like this, big tournaments like this. Oh, we go again. It's Championship Sunday. It's Match Point Finals. Copper Box, make some noise. Right here in the open. Someone's flying in. On top of us, maybe. On top of us. On top of us. Nice yeah. Stop. Yeah. No. Good one. TSM are sent to the high ground. TSM take high ground again. They will take the high, and now we're going to see one team down low. But TSM doing a lot of damage, but they've lost reps. How still alive? Verhol takes to the skies as well to try and survive. No, bro. Oh, I bro. How did we not get the guy? It didn't kill any of them. I killed two of them. Popping a cell. Popping a cell. I finish the guy. I finish the guy. Nice, go, back, nice, go, back, nice. go back. 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 Seventy on Bangor. Drop it in. Dead. Dead. Put it off. Put it off. Right, right. Come on, knock, come on, knock. Not gonna do anything. Uh. But they want to win this game oh. as Ree takes him down. NRG will win the game. They are on score point. They're laying on our roof. I just got the dock on my thing. They're laying on our roof. I held it. Zero thing on us. I'm shooting on them, I'm shooting on them. Play slow, play slow, play slow. Knock cracks. They're well, they're well, they're well. I'm looking, they're shooting us. Giving up on high, open high, die. Okay. Fire, 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 fire. They died right up there. Win this, win this, win this. win this, you win this. I'm going left. Give me Digi, Evan. I'm down, I'm down, I'm you. Yeah, uh, fine. Bro, when did they die? Oh my god. That's fine, that's fine, it's good shit. I can swing out, maybe. 
What? Close now, someone's close, close. Get out! Coming in, coming in. I'm not gonna stop, I'm not gonna stop. I don't really have a f***ing choice. There's nowhere to go, I can't Bro, like, just run to the other building! You know that other team left the building! Nobody fence. Yeah, go fence, go fence! Yeah. Which side? I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't! We're getting shot by everybody, they're getting shot by everybody, it's fine. We're getting shot in the back, they're just peeking over. Oh my god, man. One guy missed it, he's inside, inside the staircase. Yeah, over here. I didn't come low. I know, I can't peek that. Energy died, that was energy. I'm jumping, I'm jumping on that. Cracked him, cracked him, cracked him, he's one, he's one, he's one. There's a guy just got that. Okay, go now, go yeah. now, come now, come now. They might lay on our spot! Yeah, they did! I'm hitting them, I'm hitting them! No, fast one, fast one! I got to stop! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I'm gonna pop ulti kill! I'm ulti now, I'm ulti now! Yeah, ulti! The fight doing well as well, I think. We got a third party to this fight! We got a third party to E somehow! We got to focus E, so we're gonna Valkult, okay? Okay. Yeah, pop in straight. We Valkult now, I think! I think we Valkult now, so I noob it! We win this game! Go, 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 go! One guy. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, Jordan. I'm ready. I close to you, close to you, close to you. I cracked him over. I got this guy. I opened them, I opened them. I'm going to bat. Bang is one, bang is one, bang is one. We can look at this. See how digis? One's on top of us. We look at this. I did it, I got it. We gotta kill them, we gotta kill them. I'm going to bat. Look at this, guys. We gotta push forward, please. Go forward, go forward, go forward. I'm going to bat. See you on me, see you on me, one. Here, Dad. Thirst, 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 thirst. I need to swap. On the left, on the left. Team last teammates, last teammates, last teammates. Drop team. the heavy, Jordan. Evan, oh, yeah, Here, take heavy. this, take this, take this. Okay. Delisa duo, Delisa duo. Give me names, yeah. any names for me. No, no, pop it yourself, pop it yourself. Yeah, I'm seeing any. Two teams as Kashera makes the play. Kashera for Europe gets the shots in, but no shield break as now the fight goes down. So important that you get the damage here, and it's done. TSM up in the skies. House goes down from the heavens. It was awesome. I mean, it's been three years since we won a LAN, so it's the feeling that we've been trying to get for three years now, you know? It's just amazing. Yeah, it feels amazing, like, you know, just like every other win that we've had. I just feel relieved and happy. Relieved that all our work, or hard work in the past, and all the struggles that we've been through, have kind of all paid off, you know, in the end. Fellas. It's been a long time coming. Hal, I can see the smile on your face. What does this moment mean to you after all that you've done, after all you have heard online, all the time you guys have put in, all the adjustments you've made to finally hoist that trophy again? What does it mean to you? It, I still got it. You know, we still got it. We never left. And, you know, it, it means a lot. We, we appreciate all you guys' support. You know, we, we always come here to play our best, just for you guys. So I, we appreciate all of you that coming out. Thank you, guys. Even though even the haters, you know, whoever roots for NRG, you know, I still love you guys. So, yeah, I, pre I appreciate it. I do think it is, you can have a successful team 
of players that aren't friends. However, I don't believe that it often happens. I do believe that it happens at a very high level in traditional sports because there is more structure and there, there's, there's also, you have a coach and you have a bigger staff. I believe it is pretty important to have players generally enjoy each other's company. I'm standing here with none other than the CEO of Apex Legends as the champs reign throughout the arena of the Copper Box. Hal, Philip. Here is your Monster Energy MVP. So what does this win mean for Apex? It's obviously massive. I mean, it's the storybook ending. NRG and TSM in top two. It's gonna drive the most viewership and promotion to the game, which is amazing. And that's why it's, it's good when TSM wins from that perspective, or it's good when TSM has a chance to win. With that said, Apex will not thrive and grow if just TSM and NRG and Hal and Sweet grow and thrive. The rest of the ecosystem needs to grow and thrive. So what this win does is it drives more views to Alliance Hockey, says an IGL, and Yuki and his story, and uh, Kashera and his father having a stroke and that story, and it builds fans of more players, because then someone who's a fan of Hal joins and says, you know what, I really connect with the Portuguese guy because I'm Portuguese, or I really connect with this person, and, or this girl, or this, you know. So that, that's what TSN's win really does. There's no one answer that like, keeps me going, like 100%, it's just like in the feeling of winning. Like the passion kind of came from like the feeling of winning, like the feeling of sense of accomplishment, and like relief that my work was all worth it. See, I, that's, a, that's a great question actually. <laughs> Yeah, and I've actually asked my asked myself that, like regarding if I can just like care a little bit less, or like not get as emotional being passionate about something. But I think this is like it's just impossible. Doesn't matter if we're winning or losing, you know, online or in person, doesn't really matter. I appreciate all you guys. TSM is the best fan base. I want you all to be able to come home from your stressful jobs and just sit there and watch great, entertaining Apex. Thank you guys for supporting us through everything, all the ups and downs. Couldn't ask for a better fan base. Thank you guys.